Hello, my little ponies. I'm Starlight, and today I'll be discussing one of the greatest evil couples ever from the Batman series. That's right. You all know them. You all love them. Of course, I am talking about Baby Doll and Killer Croc. Oh, wait. I can just hear your complaints already. What about Harley Quinn and Joker? I thought you loved Harley Quinn. Yeah, mama. Okay, stop talking out your flanks, people. I know where you're coming from. But the fact is, is that while I love Harley Quinn and the Joker is always a blast, I don't like them as a couple. He's an abusive asshole. Yes, Killer Croc isn't much better, but I'd rather take a cheater over a beater any day when it comes to couples. So, Sit back, relax while I explain them, and comprehend. Now, some of you might be wondering who the buck is Baby Doll. Well, for those of you who do not know, you really need to go and rewatch Batman the Animated Series, but I shall explain who she is. You see, Baby Doll was an actor who, due to a genetic disorder, she looks like a child perpetually around the age of, I don't know, I want to say she looks five or six, no more than seven. And so, of course, she got a job as an actor for a TV show, where due to, let's face it, them outstaging her due to this idiot other child actor, she, of course, felt kind of PO'd about it because it's her show. It's named after her. And yet, she's being outstayed, humiliated, and to make matters worse, she gets really pissed off. And, of course, the show ends up getting cancelled due to her complaints. And then, years later, looking back on her career on that show with nostalgia glasses, she decides she's going to kidnap all of the people and force them to play house with her forever. Oh, yeah, I'm betting that she would have lasted a week and then realized that they were all shit faces and decided that she didn't want them anymore and would have let them go if Batman hadn't interviewed. But whatever. The point is, is that Batman, of course, takes up the case. And she's a great villain. Quite frankly, I loved Baby Doll. I remember watching this episode and I honestly liked her a lot more than the Joker. God, I'm going to get so much gump for that. But the point is, is that she's a lot more sympathetic than the Joker. She's, unlike the Joker, who, let's face it, is kind of a sadist, she isn't. She just wants to be happy. And while she goes about the wrong way doing it, she's always felt like an outcast, never being seen for what she truly is, always being overlooked for her disability. And while trying to blend in with communities, you see this in her second appearance, she is constantly being seen for what she was and not what she is. And it hurts her and makes her a little crazy. But let's face it, if you were trapped in the body of a five-year-old for your entire life, you might be a little psychosomatic too. And so that also brings me to a point that I want to stress about her. I know this is supposed to be about her and Killer Croc, but I want to explain thoroughly who Baby Doll is, is the last scene of when it, her first appearance. And it's one of these scenes that just shows you how incredible Batman the Animated Series was. And it's when Baby Doll is cornered and she ends up in a room of funhouse mirrors. And she comes across a mirror that shows her as an adult. And she draws the Baby Doll voice and she states, that's me. I'm in there. But it's only pretend. And then, I'm not quoting this directly, by the way. And then she sees Batman's reflection and she screams, why couldn't you just let me pretend? And she shoots the mirrors and eventually comes to the mirror that shows her what she truly wants to be. And she shoots it. And it breaks her. She ends up crying in Batman's arms. Which, by the way, seems to be the main thing. Thing with Baby Doll. Batman never really beats her up or anything like that, which is understandable because even though they go to extremes to show that she isn't a little kid, she still looks like a little kid. Yeah. 
Um, and so, wow, 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 yes. And it, 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 I don't, this scene still makes me cry. I, I might put a link for just that scene below because it is literally heart-wrenching because how many of us have lived in make-believe worlds you know lied to ourselves over and over again until you believe and then suddenly something happens and you can't lie to yourself anymore it hurts it breaks you you can just keep lying to yourself for so long before you realize it doesn't matter if you lie to yourself or not the truth is the truth anyways now, to stop being so psychosomatic, let's talk about her relationship with Killer Croc. Which, while yes, is a little creepy, not nearly as disturbed as Harley Quinn keeping go to that abusive bastard. So, let's sit down and talk. Killer Croc. You all know who Killer Croc is. He's pretty much an idiot who... I think he actually had his start in Spider-Man. And... He is a mutant crocodile human. I seriously don't really know his backstory in the comics. I don't know if it's the same one as in Spider-Man or not. I am not quite sure if Spider-Man and Batman even shared the same publishing thing. DC or Marvel, I'm not good with remembering which group is for which. Um, so, where was I at? Ah, yes. Killer Croc. He's an idiot. I mean, really, he's as dumb as a bag of rocks. But he does make a speech that connects to Baby Doll's heart. She sees him on TV stating that he never had a chance in society because he looked different. Remind you of anybody? It sure did Baby Doll. So after he gets recaptured by Batman, she then goes and talks to him. She then intervenes. Oh, by the way, this is all after the reanimation thing. And, um, Baby Doll doesn't look so cute anymore. She kind of looks creepy. Seriously. She looks like one of those creepy dolls your grandmother owns. So, onward. So, of course, Killer Croc being the idiot he is and not seeing the fact that she's the best thing he's got, even though she looks like a child, and I don't want to even imagine that, but... He two times her, as she puts it. He made little trips to the dock. I'm not lying. He literally went to the docks and was hanging around with some floozies. While anyone would want to make out with a crocodile, I do not know. I don't even think crocodiles fit into the furry fandom. Because crocodiles aren't furry. And yes... I am well aware that an animal doesn't have to be furry to be liked in the furry community, but it sure helps to be cute. Crocodiles aren't that cute, unless they're like little babies. They're adorable! Have you always seen a baby croc- I mean, um, um, right. <clears throat> I am a serious hardcore reviewer. Back on track. Um, and the relationship is actually kind of weird. But better than some of the relationships I've seen in the Batman universe. Just saying. So, oh yeah, and it's never implied that Killer Croc and Baby Doll have had sex, unlike with Harley Quinn and the Joker. Which is still another thing I don't want to picture. Um, but, yeah. The key thing is that they have chemistry. At least, Baby Doll wants them to. And... That's what kind of makes them a good couple. See, Baby Doll is smart. Like, if she didn't have this disability, she would probably be running Gotham in some upscale office somewhere. She would be a beautiful, confident businesswoman running Gotham from behind the scenes. And because of this disease, she never got that chance. She literally did jobs that she could, being an actress, which is okay, but then again, she never really seemed like she ever had people who cared about her. Not really. And the fact that Killer Croc, well, never seemed to show much affection towards her, it, it's kind of sad. I would like to believe that Killer Croc did show affection to her. Just because she is such a sad soul. All she wants is to be loved. She was shown to be working a natural job and to be doing just fine, although miserable. And then she felt like she made a connection with Killer Croc and only got back into crime for Killer Croc because that's what he probably wanted her to do. 
And so she created plans, and, well, I wish her love could have lasted. Because I really do believe that Baby Doll deserves love. Who knows? Maybe she'll find it one day. I like to believe. And hopefully she is brought back! Because she is a fantastic character, and why the fuck have they stopped showing her? I mean... I mean... <laughs> I would really like it if they brought Baby Doll back! <laughs> Well, Starlight Pony shouting out, and as always, don't forget to sparkle. And if you like this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button below, become a member of the Star Family, and give a star its tail. Mm -hmm.